all right guys welcome back to another video so today i will be replacing my bike chain with a new one so the current chain that you see it's very bad it it is very loose and it has some tight and some loose spots what that means is just when you turn the wheel one part of the chain is tight and when you turn it again one part is loose so when i realized that was happening instantly i knew that the chain was going so I bought a new one and I'll be walking you guys through the process of how I have the chain changed. The new chain that I bought is a rubber link chain and the price that I spent for it is 4000 call it 4005 Alright guys, so I did kind of skip a couple, well, I kind of skip one and two stages but I'll explain what I did. So the first thing that you need to do is to get the bike up and... Um, on the center stand well for this bike it has a center stand if if your bike doesn't have a center stand um no big deal the only reason why the main reason why you want to have it on the center stand is that so you can adjust you can make adjustments to the the, the chain once it goes on so eventually you're gonna want to free up the wheel and so forth so what i did um first and foremost i went ahead and pulled the back wheel right pull the back wheel um, and then I loosened up the adjusters so the nuts that are on the chain adjuster loosen them completely till they go all the way back and then what I do is to create some room by pushing the wheel forward so that creates some room um, so the, the new chain can go on so after I push the wheel forward now basically what I did was to pull the chain so I have a tool that is called a chain puller it's very, it's a very cost affordable tool and it's it's very helpful. I never travel without it. So the chain puller, I just put it on the chain and I use it to take out a link. But first, what you have to do to remove a link, to, you don't just remove any link like that. What, what I do is to remove a link on the chain, but you have to know which link to remove because um you want it to match up so that i can put on a new chain so what i do i don't remove the old chain completely so i remove one link and then i put the mass i put on a new chain on it connect it with the master link and then what i do is to spin the back wheel so that new chain cycles through the front sprocket and then it comes back around instead of just taking off the old chain and then have to fit on the new chain and fiddle that's an easy way to get a, a chain and a new chain on the bike when you already have the old chain on Alright, so once the new chain, you cycle the, the new chain in and you take off the old one, what you want to do now is to measure to ensure that you're cutting the new chain at the, 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 um, you want to make sure that you're not cutting it too long, right? So you want to measure it up, draw it as tight as possible, make sure that the back wheel is pushed up as far as it can go while, and make sure it's spinning as well. And you want to go ahead and measure up the chain, as I mentioned. Um, draw the chain as tight as possible and and find the link now the linkage is kind of tricky because if you pull the wrong link if you pull the wrong link then it might not match up with the, the link that you need to put the master link on so it's i'll have to explain this to you guys in a more in-depth video on how to change your chain but you just have to look at the links and you know use your common sense to say all right if you pull that one you know how it's gonna look and if you pull that one how it's gonna look how it's gonna match up so you just need to make sure say you pull the right link right and go ahead and use the chain tool and just pull that link and fit the link on with your master link
Probably can't reach us, you know. No, you can never reach us, that's a bad link. You have to pull from here, so. Yeah, pull from right here, so. Credit? Yeah. In the bus buy Mm-mm. Buy a new one, the one above the bus. I dip on the Bluetooth. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, so well, next up, once you have the chain on, the the um the master link is on and everything is secure, then you want to draw the chain. Um, mm -hmm. What I do first personally is I hold the wheel and I pull the wheel back as Ooh. much as possible. So that will ensure that the wheel is tightened, but the wheel is not straight. So what you want to do after you pull the wheel back is to use the adjusters now to straighten the wheel. Um, on the frame itself where the adjusters are, there are some markings in the frame. These markings aren't just for looks. They are there to help you to straighten the wheel. Now each marking on each side of the swing arm should line up. So if one marking, all right, you can take the marking. What I do is to, I, I take the marking from the the back section of the wheel the back section of the frame to the front section of the frame so if i see one mark at the back that's number one then the next one two next one three that's how i take the markings so what you want to do is to make sure that if you're at if the if the chain adjuster if the arrow on the chain adjuster is pointing is under one on the next side you want to ensure on the other side it's one so you want to ensure that whatever you do to one side you do to the other side ensure that everything is lined up because if it's not then your chain is going to wear quickly and it's gonna cause your back wheel to feel wobbly the back wheel won't go straight so just make sure everything is lined up properly once you go ahead and have the adjusters all dialed in make sure that the chain is not too tight you want to have a little bit of play left in the chain because if the chain is too tight that can cause it to burst prematurely or it can cause it to wear prematurely so your chain should never be tightened too Excellent. tight you know that's very bad for the chain and the sprocket and it puts pressure on the engine as well so ensure that the chain has some slack in it so what i do now is um, I check the wheel. I make sure that the wheel is straight from the back. So what I do is to basically spin the wheel and I look at it from the back to ensure that it's not wobbling, you know. Unless your rim itself has a bend in it, your wheel should not be wobbling.
and finally once everything is checked out you want to ensure that the back wheel you re-tighten the back wheel right ensure that that's tightened and you reassemble back whatever you took off in the first place and that's basically how i go ahead and replace my chain if you guys have any comments drop it down in the comment section bless you